Having more than 500 teeth, you have not heard wrong. Welcome to our new video. Information multiplies as it is shared. Don't forget subscribe to the channel and sharing the video with your friends. Today, we will talk about how and why Gardner syndrome, characterized by the formation of polyps in the intestines, causes dental problems. Remember, this is not a medical school, I'm not a professor either. Let's focus on having fun and learning. Let's first look at the meaning of hyperdontia. Hyper means excessive, dontia means teeth. Hyperdontia means having more than 32 teeth. Supernumerary teeth and multiple hyperdontia are usually associated with different syndromes, such as Gardner syndrome, however, they can appear in patients without any pathology. Their prevalence oscillates to 0.5 to 3.8% in patients with permanent teeth and to 0.35 to 0.6% in patients with primary teeth. Today we will examine Gardner syndrome, where supernumerary teeth are most common. What is Gardner syndrome? Gardner's syndrome is a rare genetic disorder. It usually causes what start out to be benign or non-cancerous growths. It's classified as a subtype of familial adenomatous polyposis, which over time causes colon cancer. Gardner's syndrome can lead to growths on various areas of the body. Tumors are most commonly found in the colon, sometimes in large numbers. They tend to increase with age. In addition to polyps on the colon, growths can develop, including fibromas, desmoid tumors, and sebaceous cysts, which are fluid-filled growths under the skin. In this disease, you may have more than 500 teeth or less than 32 teeth. What causes Gardner syndrome? Gardner syndrome is caused by changes mutations, in the APC gene, which is called a tumor suppressor. Tumor suppressor genes encode proteins that are part of the system that controls cell growth and division. These proteins ensure that cells do not grow and divide too quickly or in an abnormal manner. Mutations in the APC gene lead to uncontrolled cell growth which results in the development of the polyps, tumors and cancers that can be associated with Gardner syndrome. People affected by Gardner syndrome have a high risk of developing colorectal cancer at an early age. What are the symptoms of Gardner syndrome? The signs and symptoms of Gardner syndrome vary from person to person. It is a form of familial adenomatous polyposis FAP, which is characterized primarily by hundreds to thousands of non-cancerous benign which is characterized primarily by hundreds to thousands of non-cancerous benign polyps in the colon that begin to appear at an average age of 16 years. Unless the colon is removed, these polyps will become malignant cancerous, leading to early onset colorectal cancer at an average age of 39 years. Other symptoms include Dental abnormalities Fundic gland or adenomatous polyps of the stomach Adenomatous polyps of the small intestines Osteomas benign bone growths Congenital hypertrophy of the retinal pigment epithelium Adrenal masses Desmoid tumors other types of cancer, small bowel, stomach, pancreas, thyroid, central nervous system, bile ducts, how can we diagnose? Gardner syndrome is diagnosed based on the following features. At least 100 colorectal polyps or fewer than 100 polyps and a family member with familial adenomatous polyposis or Gardner syndrome. Osteomas, bony growths. Soft tissue tumors such as epidermoid cysts, fibromas, and desmoid tumors. How can we treat it? Although there is no cure for Gardner syndrome, treatment and management options are available to reduce the risk of cancer. For example, affected people typically undergo regular screening for the various polyps and tumors associated with Gardner syndrome to permit early diagnosis and treatment. Prognosis. The long-term outlook prognosis for people with Gardner syndrome depends on the signs and symptoms present in each person and the age of diagnosis. 
By age 35 years, 95% of affected people have polyps. Once they appear, the polyps rapidly increase in number. Without colectomy, hundreds to thousands of colon polyps are typically observed and colon cancer is inevitable. The average age of colon cancer diagnosis in untreated individuals is 39 years range 34 to 43 years. However, with early diagnosis and high risk management, the prognosis is good. In fact, the five-year survival rate for patients who undergo protocolectomy is nearly 100%. The skin abnormalities epidermoid cysts, fibromas, and lipomas associated with Gardner syndrome are mainly of cosmetic concern, as they do not appear to become malignant cancerous. Thank you for watching the video. As I said, the information increases as it is shared. Do not forget to subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends. See you in the next video.